skies recently as strange noises have been heard above Britain. Low frequency humming similar to that of a running diesel engine have been reported in several villages and towns up and down the country. The sound which was heard yesterday at around 3.15 a.m. lasted on and off until around 8.20 p.m. One eyewitness stated the noise got very loud, especially around sunrise. Another witness reported that the sound resembled that of a trumpet being blown and that he almost felt like he was in a sci-fi movie. Many videos have since surfaced the internet in which we can see people observing. The low frequency sounds that were being heard in the skies across Britain have now spread to major cities across the world. Something that started off as a couple of isolated incidents has now become a worldwide affair. Scientists are calling it a global phenomenon as they still don't yet have an explanation for what is causing the sounds. Finally, you may have heard it for the past five weeks, the sounds that have persisted on and off causing many sleepless nights for members of the public. Scientists still have no explanation and are now looking for any plausible reason. One scientist told us that he is not ruling out the fact that these sounds may indeed be of extraterrestrial origins. Welcome, welcome. See here, Chris speaking. Well, you made it this far into the apocalypse with me. Now I'm going to show you what we've been talking about for four years is going to happen, is that this second sun will become visible. So watch, guys. Um, the sounds are real. So the, bar the birds in the background of the sounds were from the person who did the sounds. That video got like 299 million hits on it. That's where I got the sound from uh, the guy speaking. Anyways, right now I'm looking to the right of this sun and I haven't even checked if I'm in the east or the west. I don't want to check. I'm thinking I'm in the north, but I don't know yet. I will clarify that, all right? But on the right, stay with me because you're going to see the second sun so clear and I'm super slowly zooming into the right side of the page. So enjoy the music. It's going to get radical. Now, as you, as you watch this, this is raw footage, not filtered. I just took a little bit of exposure down so it won't blind you. But then I started skipping here to go to the, you know, to go a little bit like a half hour later. Catching, you know, I don't want to leave the filler in there. 
with just this cloud. So I got to this point and I said, okay, I'm gonna keep recording. And uh, I'm glad I did because this, you know, doing this live a little bit close to live, I mean, within minutes, and then the sun flashes. I said, okay, I got, something's happening. And I'm still gonna clarify that if it's north. But remember, this is raw footage. This has not been filtered. This is in Mexico, Guadalajara. And this is right there, the second, that's Wormwood, I believe. That's Nemesis, some call it, the Black Star. Now on the left, notice that black object right there floating away, it's not a cloud. And a lot of this too, I take it to different filters to look at it before I say something. But right there, that, that red planet, watch it. Okay, see, you know, you watch it separate. Okay, see, and the sun does that, right? No, it don't. But the purple up in the right hand corner, you know, uh, you got me, it could be a two, a two's purple. Um, the big white one, I keep guessing is Sun Simulator cranking up because it's hiding the, the whole binary system. Um, and you're gonna see a video from me next from Canada where I show you five planets beside the Sun plus uh, alien rocks and debris coming down. It's incredible. So anyway, stay tuned for that one. But uh, watch, watch this, watch. So this is why the sky machines the star shade, sun shade, whatever you want to call it. Um, people say, you know, the lights are on rails. I wouldn't doubt it, you know, I don't know. Um, but, you know, some stuff you can't ever prove because NASA's not telling you everything they know. And um, and then they tell you, like, the biggest comet ever is coming through. Comet Planet, that is, 2019, I think it's called. Anyways, um, maybe that's because they thought that's when it was coming through. <laughs> but over here, I'm showing you on the right of that sun. See what they're trying to hide with the sun simulator? That's why I call them the sky machines. And you see what Amy found. It's like a projector. And I'm gonna do a little forensic video right after this, all right? So stay tuned, stay on it. Don't go away. You go away, you're gonna miss something. Guarantee you're gonna miss up close of what that big drive-in movie theater in the sky is. Project Blue Beam. Now you notice how that uh, right around the edge of that orange and then the sun, you know, the second sun down there, the little red one coming up. You notice how dark that purple gets that's around that white light? I think that's a planet. That's my take, my opinion. I have an opinion. You guys got an opinion, comment. Don't be a jerk. Don't be, don't be telling somebody off about something. Now see, if that's a big, huge purple planet behind there, you won't know. Some of these planets are so big you wouldn't know. So anyways, that's my take on it.
And as we've been going along here, guys, I've been freeze framing some stuff, but simply, um, it's unreal what we're looking at here. You know that big ring you see around the sun? Well, that could be that too, which is starshade projecting that ring. I don't think that ring is that big, and I don't think our sun is that big, and I don't think the plasma rise in the morning is that big. I think it's all sun simulator trying to obfuscate what's behind that purple area. That's the question, because we showed you the lenses and how they're hiding that one UFO carrying rocks out. Remember that? Remember the, the whole swarm of rocks hitting each other, exploding? Well, here you go. You know, Sky Machine working at its best. So what Amy's showing, what she caught was this machine in space working. So what if this is just projected and none of this is real? And what we would actually see, well, I'll have to show you. Let's see if I can find it. It's wild, right? Look at that. This is not normal, folks. All right, let's go do some forensic in a minute. 